In this video, I'm going to show you how you can go from audio like this. Well, this feels adventurous. Are we out this high? Wow! Oh my goodness! Scratchy and horrible and... To audio like this. It's the first time I've ever flown with another pilot that's not an instructor. Oh, it? Yeah. Wonderful. Welcome to another episode of Learning to Fly. Before we get into the geeky audio stuff, I wanted to let you know there's now over 40 previous episodes of Learning to Fly, covering everything from stalls to flying a C-42 for the first time, to pausing my skills test because I got air sick. Yes, really. I'm actually trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so click subscribe. It would be amazing if you could share this channel with any of your flying friends in the community. And the whole point of this channel is just to learn something with every single video. And if I'm learning, hopefully you are too. So let's jump back straight into this video. Welcome to another episode of Learning to Fly. Yeah, it's taken some time. The reason it has taken some time I'll get to later, but essentially I've got the right audio settings. If you're trying to record audio and video when you're flying, whether it's learning to fly to record your lessons like I started exactly that way, or maybe you've been doing it for years and you just wanna record some cool stuff in your plane, great, watch this video, it's right up your street. There are two main ways of recording audio. You go with the GoPro, plug in a cable, and it takes the feed straight out of your headset essentially, or you go the route I've gone and I'm recording into a specific MP3 recorder, if you like. It does need a few more cables, which again, link in the top right now and a link in the video below exactly what those cables are. I've done a video on that previously. The crucial bit of kit is this little box that reduces the audio output of whatever I'm plugging it into, in this case a plane, by 40 decibels. The problem I was having, turns out, is that I was getting audio distorted before it even got to this box. Audio like this. Are you out this high? Sounds pretty rubbish. It was an amazing flight, slightly ruined by the fact that all the audio was scratchy and loud and distorted. So this wasn't even helping at that point. The reason was, on all radios, or certainly the, the Com KR2, which is in the C42, and the Sky Ranger, you can actually adjust the intercom volume level, but that means you need to go into the settings internally in the, in the radio itself, which I wasn't doing on the flights previously, hence the scratchy audio, and you need to reduce that to four. It was on nine previously, the highest possible setting, I think it's between one and nine. It was on nine before, and I, need to, I needed to reduce it to four to get a good level coming through this, which then reduced it by a further 40 decibels, believe it or not, and then I got to this. I was on about five out of 10 on here on the output. This is an adjustable wheel. I was on about halfway there and I was peaking at about minus 12 decibels, which is good because then you've got plenty of room up and down in post-production in your video. So that's the key. You've got to have your intercom volume on your radio set to no more than halfway, really. So let's jump into the C42 then, just for a short flight from Cotswold Airport or Kemble to test the audio to make sure it's better for future videos. I fly with Matthew, a fellow club member and pilot who's got quite a few hours in our Eurostar and he's the brain behind flightschoolbooking.com. I was PIC, but he offered to operate the radio so I could just have a better look at the quality of the audio throughout the flight. So let's jump into this for a few minutes and I'll go through the exact numbers so you can get the same quality audio with your videos right afterwards. And I'm going to scroll through the settings of what I think was working because I had a little experiment the other day um, on the ground. Yeah. And I had to listen back to the audio and it was good. Um, so I'm going to check that the settings are the same. I've got them in my head. There's only, really, it's only the intercom needs to be lower than sort of five, I think. Do it. Intercom 4, that's what, so this is the difference, look, if I turn intercom up, look how loud I've become and that, if you're not careful on here, it gets distorted before it's got to this. That already sounds quite distorted. It does. So I'll just write down intercom 4. Intercom 4. Taking off Golf Charlie Alpha. RPM Max. Acceleration certainly feels normal, although you've not flown in it for a while. Airspeed's coming alive. Just tease that nose up a little bit. So you've just hopped out of the Eurostar, what's your uh, initial... Uh, impressions after coming in back into this Matthew for a year. I always feel like this flies a little bit like a bus compared to the Eurostar. <laughs> but oh. it doesn't, the speed is the same. Yeah. It's you know, it's got just the same performance. Yeah. But to me it just feels a little bit slower. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, the Eurostar's a rapid thing, isn't it? I love it. I'm always amazed by the well, Fosse way. So strange. It's zero. amazing, isn't it? And the Romans built it as well without the aid of lasers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'd have needed lasers to get yeah. it that straight. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. I think that's going to be, um, yeah, I mean, if anything, it's, yeah, it's good. It should be, we, we aim to peak at 12, but the problem was I was getting, it was peaking before I could even, uh, even on minimums, you know? Yeah. And the, the last thing you want to deal with is problems when you're, fr when you're in the air, you know? Um, when you're supposed to be looking outside. You're supposed to be looking outside. And of course, the last thing I was going to do, yeah, pop a bit of heat on, mate, that's good. Um, the last thing I was going to do on the uh, on the apron when you're waiting for a departure clearance or whatever is, oh, I'm just going to faff with my, because you don't have time and you know it's not, and you think, oh, it's good enough. So I've yeah. sort of taken a bit of extra time and I thought, well, if today's good enough for flying, I'll, I'll take the... Uh, I'll yeah, take the approach of doing it. Good idea. Golf Charlie Alpha, final 26 to land. Golf Charlie Alpha, runway 26, land at your discretion. Surface in 240 degrees, 6 knots. Landing Golf Charlie Alpha. So that's okay. It's about 3 knots crosswind then, isn't it? Yeah, I'd say so. We're going to get the flat. Full flat on. Aim for the dark tarmac so we're not taxiing forever in a day. See, that's got to be good airmanship, surely that's got I'd, I'd have thought so. Yeah. <laughs> you can't guarantee it. <laughs> I think that's about a good speed. 55, and just fly it in. Try not to hit any birds. Let's aim for that dark tarmac then, come on. Are you going for the precision? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch how much I'll, I'll glide on probably too much. Stop in the echo, turning final position. Golf India Echo, runway occupied. Runway occupied, Golf uh, India Lovely Echo. Golf Charlie Alpha, Alpha, vacate Bravo Delta to Woodside. Vacate to Woodside, Golf Charlie Alpha. What always gets me is um, when I sit in the right hand seat, it looks like oh, it looks like it's all wrong, you know, because you get the different sort of uh, yeah. the right line. Yeah, good point. So Matthew made a note of my settings in that flight. My squelch was set at three, intercom was at four, EXT, I'm guessing that's an external output, is two, Vox was at one, DWM, whatever that is, was at zero. So those are my settings. If you're using a similar radio to me, you'll get similar audio to this. It's as simple as that. Thank you for watching. Please comment below if you found this useful in any way. Feel free to ask any questions as well. I will get back to any comments below. Plus, let me know how you record audio. Coming up, now we have the audio sounding sweet with the Bose headset. I take my first trip to Compton Abbas on the most beautiful of winter's days. And that was only a couple of days ago, so I'm in the edit of that now. And very soon on the channel, I convert to the Eurostar as well. So fly safe, and I will catch you next time.